Here's a bit of forgotten technology. This is a cigarette lighter that works entirely by catalytic action. As you can see, it's a self-starting lighter, as they called it. Let me show you how it works. We uh, open the lighter up, and then take this piece and put it into here. And we have a flame. Let's see that again. We'll just open this up. And it ignites. This half of the lighter has a wick that's soaked with methanol, so that the space in here is filled with methanol vapor, but if we tip it over, no liquid comes out. And the part that actually does the lighting is here, and you can see there's a tiny pellet suspended on a very fine wire, and the pellet is actually powdered compressed platinum, known as platinum black, and the wire is either plated platinum or pure platinum. And what happens when we put the, the wire with that pellet inside the methanol vapor, the platinum will catalyze the reaction of uh, methanol burning in air. It uses the oxygen from the air, and it gets hot enough such that the wire starts glowing red hot, and then that heat causes the methanol vapor to ignite. Even though the platinum is very good at catalyzing the breakdown of methanol, it doesn't work on every flammable vapor. Let's try propane from a standard torch like this. As you can see, there's really not much reaction, and it's not lighting the torch. However, if we try the same thing with a jet of pure hydrogen gas, we can see that the wire glows almost white hot just from blowing the hydrogen across it. And if I get a little bit closer, it'll actually ignite the hydrogen that's coming out of this little port right here. A related bit of tech are these um, catalytic hand warmers. So the idea here is that you fill up the wick chamber with something, usually not methanol, something more like white gas. And then you put this on here and the screen is coated with platinum. And instead of getting hot enough to actually create a flame, it just gets hot enough to keep your hand warm. And you put the top on here and put the thing in the bag and put it in your pocket. Unfortunately, this one was kind of built more for decoration purpose than actual use. And uh, even though I've tried blowing the hydrogen right across the screen, it's, it's completely gone. So it probably didn't have much catalyst to start with. And at this point, it's not effective. Back in the days when the streets were lit by gas lamp, it was proposed that the lamps would be built with a small amount of platinum catalyst in them. So the problem is that if the gas pressure ever dropped momentarily, all of the gas lamps would go out you know, in the entire city or along the whole street. And then you'd have to send someone out to actually relight every gas lamp manually. Uh, and I think this was the cause of you know, many fires in those days. So uh, having a self-starting gas lantern is actually a pretty cool thing because whenever there's enough gas pressure to produce a flame, it will light itself through the catalytic action. But I think it was a little too expensive and the gas lamps were on their way out by the time the, the catalytic starters were coming about. See you next time. Bye.